The devotional content of the following Monty Man's Meditorial is provided by Dale and Juanita Ryan and the National Association for Christian Recovery. Copyright 2017. All rights reserved. For a free download of any of our shows, visit us at Take12Radio.com and click on Follow Me on Potomatic. It's the Monty Man with today's meditorial, Responding Constructively to Anger. Are you ticked off? Or do you know people that are ticked off all the time? I do. Well, Ephesians 4.26 says, In your anger, do not sin. Well, living in relationship with other people means that we will experience seasons of anger. Anger is a normal emotion. It is unavoidable, and it's an ingredient of any fellowship. Unfortunately, for most of us, anger, well, it's a problem. We know that anger can lead to destructive behaviors, right? Some of us have been on the receiving end of verbal and physical attacks from an angry person, and some of us have lashed out at others with our anger. So we fear anger because we have seen the destruction which results when anger leads to sin. We have seen how anger can damage relationships and lead to loneliness. But anger does not have to be destructive. Surprised? (laughs) We can be angry without harming others. Anger can, in fact, be a constructive force in our lives. Anger alerts us to the fact that something's not right. As a result, anger can protect us and energize us to take constructive action. The fellowship we need in recovery cannot always be conflict-free fellowship. There will be times of anger, and that can be a good thing. Well, I'm afraid of anger, Lord. I know it can't be avoided. So help me to acknowledge my anger rather than hide from it. Help me to use it in ways that are not destructive Let it energize me to risk and change and grow. Help me to learn to live constructively with my anger. Amen. So I hope that helps. If you're a little ticked off today or you're experiencing the outcry of someone else's anger, hang in there. Until next time, this is the Monty Man, and I'm wishing God's perfect serenity for you. Bye-bye now. This has been a broadcast of KHLT Recovery Broadcasting.